Toiletries, all that good jazz. The toilet. The shower curtain has a sloth on it. And the shower. I like the black, it's, it's cute. Cute little banjo. Side table. Uh, comes a cute little phone. I want one of these phones. Home. bed TV my luggage and the outside this is downtown Memphis The NAACP legal team held that segregated schools negatively affected how black children saw themselves. To prove the point, they called on black psychologists Kenneth and Mamie Clark, who had been studying the effects of segregation on black children since the late 1940s. Their research, based partly on what became known as the Dahl Test, showed that segregated schools create a sense of inferior complex and self-hatred in black children. Said if he calls me nigga again I'm gonna hit him and he got ready to say it and I hit him in the mouth and he started hollering she hit me she hit me and the policeman said well you shouldn't have called her a nigga
please move to the back of the bus. <laughs> I need that seat now. Please move back. If you can sit there in other buses, suppose you get off and into one of them. If you don't move out of that seat, I'll have you rested. Get up from there. In 1955, if you had not moved by this... injustice and shameful humiliation. If the inexpressible cruelties of slave way could not stop us, the opposition we now face will surely fail. That's all. We all know the story of the four little girls who were killed in the Birmingham 16th Street Baptist Church bombing, but we do not know of the two young boys who were killed that same exact evening. That evening, police killed Johnny Robinson, who was 16, and a group of white thugs took the life of 13-year-old Virgil Ware. Fun fact, my grandmother grew up in Louisville, Mississippi, that's Sunflower County, and I was watching TV with her one day, and she saw Miss Fannie Lou Hamer on TV and said, hey, I know that gal. She grew, well, she grew up the street from me. <laughs>
So I'm in this restaurant on downtown Memphis. If, if you just saw, I left the Civil Rights Museum. It was really good. Um, it's changed a lot since I was there. From when the last time I went, when I was a little girl. But um, it's real loud in here, so you probably can't hear me. But it was really, really good. And now I'm in this cute little restaurant called The Flying Fish. And super cute. We got all these fish on the wall. And um, I'm about to eat some fish. Thank you. 